Welcome to the Rustic Garden. Today I want to talk about indigo tomatoes. It's sort of the new fad for 2014 and I'm sure it's going to be around next year. I also thought that I planted indigo blueberries, which says right on here, indigo blueberries, but the tomato turned out to be yellow. The one on the right is actually what it should have looked like. I planted um, two plants that I thought were indigo blueberries from the same seed pack. This is an indigo blueberry. It's crimson, dark purple shoulders, and I'll do a video on that later. This one turned out to be a yellow tomato with the dark indigo pigment. So obviously I got some seeds mixed into the packet that weren't true indigo blueberries. The dark pigment comes from anthocyanin, which is the same pigment that turns blueberries dark. It's a great antioxidant according to, you know, the literature. So I think that this is the indigo sun. It's a hybrid tomato, so I can't really save these seeds for next year because they are bred um, by some breeder. And I actually think it might be um, the Oregon University, but I'm not sure. It's an indeterminate tomato, 75 days, unique flavor. When I uh, had this, I was like, what is that taste? And it, you really do get a sense of a plum in this tomato. So I do recommend it for the unique flavor. It tastes like a tomato, has some acidity, but the sweetness is really, really different. It looks like this growing on the vine. You can see some of these are green. They're not ready yet. They will turn yellow. And when you squeeze them, they kind of feel rubbery, filled with, um, you know, with water, nice and, nice and tight. But it gives when you squeeze on it. That's when you want to pick these. As you go up the vine, it's really important to remember with the indigo tomatoes, they only turn this color when they're hit by the sun. So the sun does come right through here, and you can see the nice dark purple color to them. As you come around the side, the color sort of fades out. So when you're growing these and you really want the indigo the color to be an area, you want the health benefits of the antioxidant. You want to make sure this plant's not shaded off by other tomato plants and you're going to have to prune it in a way that the sun gets in there. And as we go up the top you see lots of tomatoes packed in there. The ones that are protected really don't have the color. The ones that are sitting out getting more sun you can see that they're starting to turn. This tomato is almost seven feet tall. It's really prolific. I do recommend it, even though I didn't order it. It came in mixed with the indigo blueberry packet. It's definitely worth trying just for the unique flavor and the color. And actually, I'm going to pull one off from back here. You can see this one is totally protected by the sun, so it doesn't have a lot of the indigo color. So if you're doing um, growing the indigo apple, the indigo blueberries, the indigo sun, this is one that this side was facing the sun, this side was away from the sun. So if you're growing the indigo tomatoes, you really want to make sure the sunlight is hitting them so that you get that deep purple color. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my blog at www.therestofgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.